in any city, in any country. Go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask the receptionist if you can see the one who calls herself the holder of pain. The receptionist will say that he has no idea who you speak of, but will slide a card across the desk to you with a room number on it. Take the card while replying apologetically, I must be in the wrong place then, and ascend the stairs that may or may not have been there before. As you wander the upcoming halls in search of her room, you will hear the most beautiful singing you have ever heard. Should the singing ever stop, whisper, Please continue, it's beautiful. However, the return of the singing is the last thing you want. If it does, you may calmly leave the building and tell your loved ones goodbye. You will be dead by morning. Should the silence persist, continue to the room shown on the card. Quietly enter it. An average-looking blonde-haired woman wearing glasses will be sitting in the center of the bare room with her back turned to you. A pool of blood will have collected at her feet. Approach her and embrace her. Mind yourself, though. The closer you get to her, the more pain and despair you will feel wash over you. You must continue in spite of this, lest you weep yourself to death. Hold on to her until she begins to cry, and ask her, Where does their pain come from? She will smile weakly and respond, Their love. She will then hold out her hand, and you will notice a ring on her finger. Delicately take the ring from her finger, kiss the back of her hand, and leave. The ring is object 212 of 538. Only you will see that love can be the most painful thing in the world.